Good morning, my good my friend. How are you today? You are wondering if fresh beef stocks are only made in restaurants and is it worth it to make them at home? I am Gérard the French Chef and thank you very much to my growing number of followers on YouTube. Today recipe number 80. The beef stock like Paul Bocuse. That is, in fact, the recipe of the chef of the century, Paul Bocuse. Firstly, fresh beef stock are more healthy, more rich and taste much better than powder or supermarket ones. You can even make them organic. Beef stock is made with beef bones or veal bones. Ask the butcher to cut them for you. They should have a combination of bone marrow, bone with meat rind and articulation. After the bones, you need some vegetables. Cut a thick mirepoix with carrots, unpeeled, and you'll get more vitamins. Chop some leeks, celery, and onions. You need also, on top of that, some uh, aromatic like uh, wine beliefs, parsley, peppercorn, thyme, and a soup spoon of tomato paste. To finish off, one glass of red wine, to deglaze and also 2.5 liters of filtered water for getting one liter of fresh beef stock. To get the full recipe you can click on more and you can see all on the description page and then you can print the recipe. First thing to do now you warm up an oven tray and you saute the onions and the bones for 5-10 minutes to give a little bit of coloration but you don't need oil. Now roast the bones and the onions in an oven at 230 degrees for 15 minutes to obtain more coloration. My bones and onions are roasting nicely. During this time I check all my ingredients to add later in the pot. Number one, the mirepoix, carrots, celery, leeks and the aromatic uh, parsley, thyme, pepper, uh, bay leaves and tomato paste. Uh, to help break down the animal protein and connective tissue, I use the acidity of the tomato paste. Some people use the vinegar and this helped to provide a broth higher in protein and collagen. And collagen is a protein responsible for healthy joints especially when we're getting older. So it's very good for health to have a beautiful beef stock. To make a very good stock, we should cook them on slow for minimum eight hours. At home, it can be very costly. So I use the pressure cooker. Like that, it reduced the cooking time to 2.5 hours. It's a big saving of gas and electricity. Paul Bocuse is watching us. Now you transfer all the beautifully colored bones and onions to the pot. We will deglaze with a glass of red wine to dissolve all the flavorful fond from the bottom of your pan. All that bits will add flavor to your beef stock. Now add 2.5 liters of filtered water. You will obtain one liter after evaporation. Add the mirepoix leeks, carrot, celery, and one believe. Uh, one believe, you can break it. You know, one believe is enough for 25 liters of uh, liquid. If you put too much, it'll be poison. Add your three sprigs of thyme, your nice flat leaf parsley, and six or seven peppercorn, non-cracked. And finally, 
one spoon of tomato paste. Now we cook our beef stock for two and a half hours in a cooker pressure. It's a big saving in time and uh, compared to cooking eight hours in a restaurant. After two hours of cooking, I am checking the level of the reduction. Then we can add the garlic. You notice I remove the green part of the garlic, which will be a little bit bitter. Then I put the lid again and return for cooking for another 30 minutes. After a total of two and a half hours, the water has reduced nicely, leaving a beautiful and tasty beef stock. Now we can remove the bone on the vegetable. The soft carrot showed that the vegetable were very well cooked. Now it's time to filter the beef stock in a fine, very fine strainer. Oh, look what we obtained, a beautiful beef stock. Okay, now if we did well, we should get one liter of pure, fresh beef stock. Look at that, bingo, spot on, just one liter. Let it cool down and refrigerate in a cool room for a couple of hours. During the refrigeration, the fat of the bone uh, will solidify on the surface. Now with a spoon, you can remove the solid fat and discard it. We obtain a beautiful beef stock. Now you can store it in a fridge for five days or in a freezer up to three months. Remember, always label and date your containers in a freezer or in a fridge. Now let's make the jus de veau lié the thickened beef stock, which is stronger, thicker, and more tasty than the basic beef stock. We will make a little mixture of arrowroot and red wine, and when the stock reaches 85, 90 degrees, we will add slowly the mixture, and using a whisk, mix up carefully. That will be the base of all our sauce, pepper sauce, mushroom sauce, bordelais, etc. and all the stew like the beef burgundy and even the soup, some uh, like the, the onion soup. Mm. Oh, that smells good. Oh, oh, oh. Now, look at this. Oh, look at this texture. After 15 minutes of reduction, you obtain a beautiful jus de veau lié, darker in color, more tasty, thicker, a full flavor that you cannot compare with commercial one. Now it's ready to use for any gravy. You can store it in your fridge for up to five days or in your freezer up to three months. Then again, don't forget to label all your containers. Now we have mastered the recipe of Paul Bocuse, the beautiful jus de veau lié. As you can see, the first one is a classic beef stock. You can make it in advance and store it in your freezer in small containers. The second one, the jus de veau lié, is more elaborate, ready to use for sauce and stew. And you have seen the difference now. The jus de veau lié being darker, thicker, velvet texture and more flavor. I hope you enjoyed this video as I enjoyed to produce it. I hope you got something out of it, and if yes, please thumbs up! And also subscribe to support the channel, also press the bell, you won't miss my next video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.